to review the study questions for Adam Smith's uh, Wealth of Nations ex excerpt. Number one, according to Smith, why do people trade with each other? Um, that starts with the idea that, that human beings um, have extensive needs, which they cannot meet uh, with their own labor. That is, we are different from other creatures. Um, in, in so far as other creatures have simpler and more limited needs, and at least Smith claims that most animals can take care of those needs as individuals. Um, we have more extensive needs, and we find, because we're clever creatures, that it's uh, necessary for us to uh, engage the help of other human beings in order to meet those needs. Uh, and that we are forced to engage in trade with others uh, in order to get what we want. So I think the, the real, the base idea is that, that human beings have extensive needs and that they need other people to help them if they want to meet those needs. And that the best way to do that is, is through trading, exchanging things. This is related to question two, why is trade, according to Smith, a better way to get things from people than appealing to their benevolence? Now, benevolence is their humanity, their sympathy with, uh, with us, their love. Um, and as he says, if, if you want to get your dinner, uh, the worst way to get it is to appeal to the love or benevolence of the butcher, the brewer, the baker. A much better way is to appeal to their self-interest. Uh, and that is revealing because of what it basically says is that human beings are self-interested creatures. That we're, to say that we're selfish is, is perfectly correct. It's just not, we're not selfish in some kind of bad way. It's not a judgment on human nature. It's just an observation. So that we're all essentially m most concerned, almost exclusively concerned with meeting our own individual selfish needs and that you're like that and everyone else is like that. So if you need somebody to supply you with something, the best way to do it is to offer something that they want in exchange. This is the whole origin of, of, of trade as far as uh, Smith is concerned, is that we, we realize that appealing to their self-interest is the best way to get other people to give us what we want. And that's what trade is. I, I will give you this, which you want, in exchange for that, which I want. So in this, this is the really fundamental Adam Smith idea that um, we, as a society, we can supply each other with what we need and create a prosperous society, but only as a result of us, each of us pursuing our self-interest, because we're forced to give people what they want in order for us to get what we want. Number three, how does trade lead to the division of labor? Well, trade is, uh, is giving people what they want. And what we find is that if we uh, apply ourselves exclusively to one thing, like as he says, making arrows, rather than uh, trying to meet all our needs our, ourselves, farming and building and making clothes for ourselves, that will prosper more. And so uh, we need something to trade. And so the division of labor is a result of that. We concentrate on the making of one thing or one type of thing. We become shoemakers or arrow makers or builders or farmers. And that is the division of labor where instead of everyone doing everything, all the different tasks for themselves, we concentrate, we divide the labor in this sort of natural way, uh, we end up dividing the labor and we work on one thing. Obviously, the uh, shoemaker doesn't need all those shoes. That's not why the shoemaker makes the shoes. The, sh the shoemaker makes the shoes so that they will have something to trade with other people. So really, the division of labor is a result of us realizing that we can meet our needs better through trade, that is trading the surplus of what we make. We concentrate on one thing rather than trying to do everything for ourselves.